Hey everybody, Kiru Paul here. Welcome to the channel. In today's short video, I'm going to tell you which two days of the month I avoid stores, banks, and ATMs in Mexico and why. Now right up front, there's one thing you should know about me and that is that I absolutely hate, and when I say hate, I mean loathe, being in large crowds and having to stand in line to do anything. I plan my trips to restaurants, stores, and banks on days and at times when I can expect to see the fewest number of people. My goal is always to get in and get out quickly. I'm just, I've always been this way, I don't know what to say. Well, when Linda and I first moved to Mexico back in 2015, this personality trait of mine, of course, came with me. And uh, I remember telling Linda that I wanted to go grocery shopping early on Tuesdays. I figured there just wouldn't be many people at the grocery store at that time, because, well, a lot of people would be working. Well, Linda is not the type of person who typically wakes up early, so early to her was about 10 a.m. I was already like, ah, oh, a little stress, this is gonna be too late. But when I showed up, it wasn't bad. Um, there weren't that many people in the grocery store at all. We did our shopping easily, and we were out, and within like an hour, we were at the beach. So the next week, Tuesday rolls around, and we're headed to the grocery store, and it's Chedraui, which is a Mexican grocery chain here, um, to make our weekly purchases, pull in, and the place is packed. I didn't even want to walk in, but Linda goes, well, let's just go see if, you know, what's going on in there. There were lines at all the registers and the lines were so long, they were actually going into the aisles of merchandise. So I was like, what the heck is happening here? Is this some kind of special or sale or something? On that date, I didn't even want to deal with it. So I said, let's just, let's go to Walmart. And when I went to Walmart, it was the same thing. There were people everywhere and the lines were so long. So I didn't want to deal with that either. So as we're driving around, I told Linda, I said, you notice that the lines are really long at banks and ATMs? I said, what's going on? Is this some kind of a holiday or something? And when I looked into it, it wasn't. Well, we didn't end up shopping that day. Uh, we waited to the weekend and we shopped and it was Saturday and things weren't bad at all, which surprised me. Um, the following week rolled around and I said, I'm not going on Tuesdays anymore. I don't know what happened, but I'm going on Wednesdays. So we go on a Wednesday, about 10 in the morning and same grocery store, Chedraui, and things are like, pretty nice. You know, it was a nice shopping experience and we're in and out quickly. So I said, okay, Wednesday is our new shopping day. Fast forward one week to Wednesday, we show up back at the grocery store at 10 and it's packed again, like that Tuesday, two weeks before. And I'm like, what is happening? So I decided to do some research into this thing because, well, that's my personality and that's why I have a YouTube channel, right? Well, I discovered that a large percentage of the Mexican population is paid on the 15th and the 30th of each month. And when I looked back at those two days, that Tuesday and that Wednesday, Tuesday was on the 15th and Wednesday was on the 30th. And in case you're wondering what they do in February, they're paid on the 28th, unless it's a leap year, then they're paid on the 29th. So we learned right then and there to avoid stores, banks, and ATMs on those particular dates and even a few days afterwards because those places were always super busy. Here's a visual aid so you can see what I'm talking about. This is a picture I took at an ATM in Playa del Carmen. The date it was taken was April 30th. Now I stepped in line just to take the picture and even while I'm standing there, people are still lining up behind me. That's how ridiculously long this, this line was getting. Oh, and another thing we noticed is that ATMs often ran out of money on these dates too because everybody's going to them. Now for you folks who don't speak Spanish, cajero sin efectivo means this ATM doesn't have any cash in it. And just for comparison purposes, here's that same ATM on the 8th of the month at the same time of day. Look, nobody here. Oh, in case you're wondering, I checked. The ATM was operational and it did have cash in it. So I decided to do this video today for those folks out there who are like me and you have an aversion to standing in line for a long period of time. Now you can better plan your shopping trips. You're welcome. Seriously, life is just too short to spend it staring at the back of a stranger's head. Well, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button. Just kind of helps me out. And if you're not already a subscriber, why not subscribe? I have a lot of videos planned for this channel and well, you might like one or two of them. Until next time, hasta luego.